I have been busy making various vlogs on what daily life is like on the ship um, and interviewing different people, profiling jobs and stuff. Um, and that's been really cool. But I was also thinking what might be helpful for you as someone who is probably either interested in merchant ships or coming to the ship, hopefully. Um, I thought it might be helpful to kind of go over some helpful tips slash things I wish I would have known and things I wish I would have brought in my bag to the ship. Um, it's easy to kind of become, at least it's easy for me to become overly comfortable and think, um, okay, since I grew up here for, you know, 18 years and then lived here for a year working, like I already know all there is to know, but the ship is constantly changing. The community is constantly changing. Our, the country we are, we are docked in is always changing. And so there's always new things to learn or to adjust to. And so my own knowledge and experience is expanding and that's great. And so I thought I'd share a few of those things that I'm learning with you. The first thing is that I have noticed that I'm a lot more cold than I used to be on the ship. Um, that might have to do with the fact that Senegal is further north than most of the countries that we serve in. And so it's not only colder on the ship, but it's cooler outside as well at night. Sometimes we have like church service outside and it was really windy and cold. Several people, including myself, have recommended maybe bringing more than one fleece or jumper and maybe even bringing an extra blanket, like a fuzzy blanket or something. Um, that hospitality offers like you can go ask hospitality for extra blankets but eventually they're gonna run out so it might just be comforting to have like if you have room to have like a fuzzy blanket or something when you sleep um, again it's not always like that sometimes the ac breaks and sometimes we're in countries that just aren't as cool and so the metal on the outside of the ship gets more hot and then the inside's hotter um, so it's not guaranteed to be cold when you come depending on when you watch this but that is something i have noticed uh secondly i was talking to someone else who wished she would have brought a hammock that could be fun if you're coming for um, a sale or if you're coming in a country like Senegal or a country that's known to be cooler, it might be fun to have a hammock to sit outside um, on the deck in. When I was in like Liberia and Sierra Leone and countries that are further like south, um, I never wanted to be outside at night because it was so humid. So, but here you could do it as long as you're on anti-malaria pills. Okay, the third thing, and this might be like too much detail, but I figured I'd tell you because it's something I wish I would have known. If you arrive on a Friday or Saturday or Sunday, the food schedule in the dining room is very different than the normal week. Um, and I found that I was pretty hungry because um, on Saturday and Sunday, they only serve, they serve breakfast in the morning and you have to go and get lunch. They don't serve lunch. Um, and they serve dinner at five. And all, also during the weekends, it's not guaranteed that the snack bar or ship shop is gonna be open. Um, so I found that I, and because of jet lag, I wasn't like able to get up in the morning to get breakfast. Um, and I was like really hungry throughout the day and then the ship shop was closed and I just didn't have any food. And so you can, of course, like, you're not gonna starve. Like if you're really, really hungry, you could ask someone, but I kind of wish I would have brought some snacks, some more healthier snack options. In previous videos, I've recommended not using your limited storage in your suitcase for snacks. And while I still slightly stand on it, I would say like bringing enough food for like your first or some snacks for your first like day or two of adjusting to life on the ship and adjusting to the, ske the meal schedule might be helpful because that's something that I wish I would have done, um, as well as the fact that sometimes the ship has a bounty of food and snacks, depending on if the container has come. Right now, the container has been delayed. It has not come for a long time, which means even when the ship shop and the cafe was open, uh, there were really only a few snacks and most of them are all candy bars and Skittles and like fun things that not really what you want to eat for lunch. Um, and like ramen, there's lots of ramen. So if you like ramen, then you'll be good. Um, so that's a recommendation. There is uh, a lot of snacks and once the week starts, there's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and so you'll be good. But that's something I kind of wish I would have known. Another thing I've noticed that I wish I would have brought is like a small side bag. I brought like bigger backpacks or like day travel packs, um, which were useful when I leave the ship, but I don't really want to like wear it around the ship as much. Um, and so if you're wearing a sweater, you have pockets, but if you're not, uh, sometimes you have to like carry your keys and your name tag in your phone probably um, and whatever else and so sometimes I feel like my hands are always full of stuff. Okay and one other thing that I will let you know about which I have mixed feelings on but maybe that's for another time. Um, when I was on the ship even in Cameroon we had good wi-fi but it wasn't as good as it is now. Like now you're able to stream Netflix and Amazon Prime and like TV and movies aboard the ship. Um, and that was never a thing when I was here in Cameroon, especially when I was a kid, 
growing up on the ship, you couldn't even download like a song or watch or stream a video. That was how bad our Wi-Fi was. And then in Cameroon, you could like FaceTime um, and do a few more things. You know, you could watch YouTube, it was just really slow. But now I have noticed it, like I think it's really fast. And the fact that you can stream Netflix is like a huge step in our technological advancement here on the ship. Um, and so it's really awesome. At the same time, like I'm a little sad because this was kind of like, the one remaining haven I felt like in the world where um, we weren't all watching Netflix. But thankfully, people here are still really intentional about community. And I, I feel like I see people playing games in midships um, and talking more than I see people watching TV, you know. So, and when people do watch TV or uh, Netflix shows, it tends to be together in groups. Um, so that's pretty cool as well. So those are some tips and tricks, some things I wish I would have known or wish I would have brought. Um, and hopefully that helps you as you are preparing to come to the ship. And again, if you have any more questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I'll see you next time. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>